I once asked you, is it better to be feared or loved? And you said loved, but why in the Bible it says to fear God? So I actually, I had a conversation with my dad the other day about that question. And I have many different thoughts around that question and what that could possibly mean. Um, in one sense, uh, in like, is it the same fear? So could, there could be a fear of man, which we all know, but there could also be a fear of God. Is it the same fear? Does that fear look the same? And if it doesn't, what does it look like? Um, I don't know. Um, and I think my mom told me, well, it's an awe and a reverence and a respect. And I'm like, well, that makes God look like a dictator instead of a father. So I don't think that's it. Um, but I, I, I'm not sure what that looks like. But my theory in it is that um, the law of polarity, right? So it's, it says God is love, but then it also talks about the fear of God. So my theological theory in this is, well, that's, that rolls right off the tongue, theological theory. Um, and this is that because of the law of polarity being that, you know, if there wasn't pain, you would never know what joy even was. Um, if there wasn't, um, you know, just the opposites, the polar opposites of things so you can experience things. You know, if there wasn't any such thing as gravity, you nobody would call it flying, you know. <laughs> it would just, you know, there there would be no opposite you have to you have to have opposing sides to be able to experience something. Um, you know, you you wouldn't know or appreciate camaraderie if you didn't know loneliness, right? And so, in the beginning of it all, like right, if if Satan was a thing and there was a fall and all that happened, but even before that, like if the devil was an angel, all that, and there was only God and his angels and all that. Obviously, there had to be some sort of opposites there for people and the beings to be able to experience. Um, and so my thought is that God is both, and I don't know what that fear looks like, um, this fear, but there has to be some sort of fear there so that people outside of God can experience love. Um, so I'm not sure how accurate that is. It's just a theory of my own. Um, because yeah, it doesn't it doesn't really make sense other than if you think about it in that way, in my opinion. Because if you think about it in a way of, oh, well, there's a fear of God and there's a love of God. So God is both this terrifying fear that men feel all the time and uh, this loving God. And I'm like, no, that doesn't make any sense to me. So I, I think it's it does say the fear of God in the Bible, but I think it's it could be a different kind of fear than what we actually think it is. And again, I don't know what that looks like because obviously I'm a human being and I, I only know what the fear of man and what the understanding of fear is from a human point of view. I only know what that looks like. I don't know if God exists, what that viewpoint of fear looks like. I, I just, you know, I don't have that thought or that thinking. So.